What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you how to use shared memory. It is very useful and you are going to see that also it is very easy to do it. Okay, so how do we use shared memory in C? For that, we have to use these functions which are sh, sh, m open, mmap, fmgate, and that's it. And yeah, in order to use that, I think that you need, yeah, you need all these libraries. And as always, how did I know that we need all these libraries? Let me open the terminal and simply just put man and for example, shm open. And here you have all the information needed about the, basically the, the shared memory and how to use them. So here you have... Uh, yeah, you open with shmail, well, <laughs> later you map it, etc. You also have the meaning of all these um, uh, arguments, and yeah. But yeah, what are those arguments, and basically how do we use it? So, we have to first open the shared memory. Let's imagine that it's not opened and no one um, created that before. So then we use this function and we put a name. We have to use a name because this shared memory is going to be stored in the operative system with this name. So once we have the name, we have to put if we are going to read or write. And if we put these two together, it means that if it is already created, it will give us an error. But this is useful because sometimes uh, it happens that yeah it's already created and we just want to link or we just want to obtain the direction of that shared memory so this is useful then this last argument i don't really know <laughs> you have to read it here and look so this is the first time that we opened this shared memory and for that uh, let's imagine that now we just have that hey we open something but it doesn't have any size we have to give it a size. For that, we use the ftruncate uh, function and we use the file descriptor that this returns and it, we use the size of a structure that we created. One thing is that whenever you use shared memory, it is very useful to use a structure. For example, here I have this structure in which I have everything I need. Like you can, you can add more things if you want. So, for example, here I have uh, two semaphores, but yeah, this is for other video. And here I have a shared variable that both processes, I didn't tell you, but we are going to create a program with two processes. So both processes are going to be able to take the value of this memory and uh, uh, modify it, etc. So yeah, we truncate the size of the memory and we put the size of our extractor. Once we've done that, we have to map that uh, shared memory into our program. Like we want to use that shared memory. That's why we create here a variable of the structure that we used before, well, a pointer. And then this function is going to give us the direction where that memory is stored. And from this point, it is like using a normal variable. Like for example, here we are initializing the value to zero. And that's it. It's like using a, a normal variable. Another thing is that, for example, let's say that the memory is already created. This will give us an error. And if someone already created the memory, he would have already also used this function. So we wouldn't need to use this. And we would only need to use the mm, yeah, the mm map, mmap function. So we would have the the place where that memory is stored. <clears throat> so once we have that, what the program is doing is that we create two processes and we just simply, for example, at the beginning, the, the value of that variable is zero and we both print it like the father and the child print that value and then the child uh, modifies that value and puts a one and it prints the one and then the child allows the father to execute himself with this semaphore. And once the child allowed the father to execute, then the father prints the new value, which is going to be a one because the child modified that value. So yeah, 
Also, another thing is that once we finished using the shared memory, every process has to unmap that uh, that uh, memory. That's why in both cases we use the function moon map. We have we just have to use this function, and after this, only one process has to unlink, which is something like destroy that shared memory. So yeah, all the processes have to unmap, which would be something like close, but only one of the processes has to unlink that memory. So let's compile this. I already have it compiled, but it has something special and I have to show you that. So we would do uh, this like this and give me just one second. We just have to put this. And well, we are using a semaphore, so we have to put minus p thread. But if we do this, you can see that it's saying, "Hey, I don't know what is sh shm open or shm unlink. What is this? Again, we have to compile with another flag. So we have to put here minus l l r t. So once we done that." That's perfect, and if we execute this, it works perfectly. So you see that the beginning, uh, the, the value is zero in both cases, here and here. Then the father is blocked, and the child, uh, wait, not here, the child modifies the value. So here, the child modifies the value, prints the value, and then it allows the father to execute and the father prints uh, the value that it has, and it's a 1 because the child modified that value. So yeah, that was everything for shared memory. It is very easy and very easy to use and very easy to understand. It's just simply shared memory between processes. And if you like the video, give it a like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Estoy bajando todo, lo siento, te quedas en el nombre, resting hasta